Oh, I feel personally attacked. <sighs> okay, 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 this is a long one. <laughs> oh God, I'm done. F Mika. Hello, and welcome to round two of Narrative Telephone. For the uninitiated, here's how the game works. Our storyteller of choice will be starting us off by recording a short story. They will then send off that video to the next person who will only be able to watch it once. That person must then record themselves recounting that story to the best of their memory before sending their version off to the next person, and so on and so forth until everyone is gone. The final retelling is sure to be... well, you'll see how it goes. So this is a story I was saving to tell Mr. Caleb next time I saw him because I know he loves books and stuff. But I think you all might like it too. All the elves in Uthador know this one, so okay, here we go. There was once a beautiful elven princess named Elenathriel that lived in Arvandor in Faerun. And she, on a rare outing away from her kingdom, fell for a human sailor named William Tanner. The seafaring man was struck by her beauty the moment he saw her and offered her a beautiful conch shell in exchange for just a moment of her time. After spending all afternoon with her newfound love, she returned to her father, King Malindor, excited to share her happiness with him. I met someone, father, she exclaimed. Alhond Brath Ultath Shantar and Tath Lalala Ohala Brath. The king raised an eyebrow in her at disgust as she expressed such a deep connection with this man she just met, in their native tongue, no less. You think I would allow such a courtship? He questioned angrily. And now you see, it wasn't because the man was a human and she an elf, no, no. The king wouldn't dare allow his daughter, an Etriel, to be betrothed to a lowly Theranos. She was worthy of nobility, and nobility alone. So heartbroken, she ran from the castle, mounted her horse, and rode for the beach again. William was not expecting to see his love so soon, and rushed to her in concern. When she told him what happened, he immediately rode Elenathriel back to the kingdom, not wanting to be the cause of the king's contempt. Malindor at first thanked William for being so responsible as to bring back his wayward daughter, only to have the Crown's Guard immediately seize and execute William on the spot, crimson spray showering all over the throne room. Do not dare defy me again, Asum. You will learn your place. The king turned from his sobbing daughter as the, he left the servants to mop up the horrid remains. So now the endings to this story differ. Some say Ellen Athriel threw herself to the ocean to always be with William's wandering soul, and some say she forgot her dear sailor entirely and went on to marry an elven prince, doing what her father bid. But my favorite ending is the one where she ends up ruling the kingdom after her father fell mysteriously to some poison tea when he least expected it. Hi, this is Rini. I was gonna save this story for the next time I saw Mr. Caleb because I know he likes reading books and stuff, but I figured you might like it too. There's a story that all the elves know in Uthodurn about a young princess named Aranathanil. And Aranathanil, uh, on one of the rare occasions she journeyed away from her kingdom, uh, found herself crossing paths with a young sailor named William Tanner. And William Tanner offered her a conch shell uh, in exchange for a moment of her time. She ended up spending the entire afternoon with William Tanner and fell madly in love with him. She raced back to her castle, to her kingdom, to tell her father, King Heimdall, Man King Mando. She told her father, King Mando, all about this wonderful man she had met, saying, this is important, it's not Dutch, it's Elvish. To which the king cocked an eyebrow and said, How dare you profess your love for this man you just only met, and in our native tongue, no less. Um, he immediately forbid her from seeing this man again, for not that, not because she was an elf and he a human, but because she was nobility. Heartbroken, she fled the castle and rode her noble steed back down to the shore to find William Tanner. Distressed in seeing his love return, he consoled her, and upon hearing uh, how her father had taken the news, uh, offered to take her back to the castle so that they could make things right, not wanting to cause a fracture between the king and his daughter. The king, uh, seeing this young man bring his daughter back, was uh, initially thankful for um, uh, talking some sense into her before promptly asking the king's guard to seize him and execute him on the throne room floor, spraying crimson everywhere, leaving 
ethanandrail to clean up the uh, nasty ass remains of her love. Now, the ending of this story uh, differs depending on who you hear it from. Some say that she threw herself into the sea to be with the wandering soul of her lost love, while others say she moved on and married an elven prince that did the bidding of her king. But I like the version of the story where she ruled the kingdom in her father's stead after he died from sipping some poisoned tea. Mm hmm. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Rini. Um, I was saving this story for Mr. Caleb because I know that he really likes books, but I figured you might like it as well. Uh, this is a story that every good elf from uh, Uthadern would know. It tells the story of a princess named Anathanel. Uh, Anathanel was a princess, and... Um, one day she was uh, traveling by horseback and she rode down onto the shore and she ran into a, a handsome sailor from a far off land named William Tanner, which I think was the name of the father on the 80s sitcom uh, Alf. Um, that's, I'm just adding that in here. Uh, William Tanner. And they fell deeply, deeply in love. And William Tanner gave Princess Anathanel a conch shell as a symbol for her love. And she took that conch and she traveled back to meet her father in a galaxy far, far away because the king's name was Mando? King Mando. And uh, told her uh, King Mando all about her love for this William Tanner in their, their elven tongue. And it sounded something like this. Which is not Dutch, it's Elvin. And her father was enraged and said, How dare you tell me of your love for this ingrate from another land in our native tongue, no less. And he caused madness in the chamber and threw things. I don't, I don't think anyone said that. I think I just made that up. And she fled the chamber and rode back to the beach, back to the beach on horseback. And she found Willie Tanner. Alf, please don't eat the cat and said told her told her love all about her father's rage and he said well we must return to your father and make our case together and heal this breach i could not live if there was a breach between you and your father mando and so they rode back together and uh, stood before the king and the king initially seemed to be placated somewhat by this man coming to make their case, but then he turned on a dime and slew Willie Tanner right in front of the entire kingdom and Alf and everybody, sp sp spraying the chamber in crimson. And uh, Princess Anathanel fled her father and rode away on horseback, and... I'll tell you, some people, there are different uh, endings. Uh, people disagree on the ending of this story. Some say that she threw herself into the sea in, in misery and heartbreak because of Willie Tanner. Uh, and some say that she went on to marry a good elven gentleman from Uthadern and lead uh, as her father would have her. Uh, uh, but I prefer the ending where her father died by drinking some poison tea. And that is the tea, as they say. Hi, this is Rini, and I uh, have a story to tell. It's one of, it's like a, a great old elven story that I'm excited to tell to you. I was actually saving this story for, for Caleb, but for some reason that I don't remember, uh, he's like reading a book or something like that. It's, there was a lot to take in, and I didn't take it all in. So there we are. Um, so, the story begins, once upon a time, there was this elven princess named uh, Anathanel, uh, who was very beautiful and very, uh, very funny and witty, and everybody loved her so very, very much. And she fell madly in love with the sailor that she met, named William Tanner. <laughs> uh, William Tanner, named, so, uh, named after... Uh, the father, William Tanner, from the series Alf. Now, William Tanner courted her very, over many, many months, eventually giving her a beautiful conch shell, which was what finally grabbed her heart. And she went to her father, uh, whose name was King 
Moman, sure. <laughs> King Moman, why not? It's King Moman now. Uh, and told him uh, in their beautiful uh, elven language all about this wonderful love affair and how much she was in love with this sailor. And it sounded uh, something like this. <laughs> uh, and after this beautiful story, uh, the king uh, uh, spoke to his daughter and said, "How dare you tell me of this love affair with this with this sailor, especially in our own tongue? I am I am incensed, and I refuse to accept this." And so she, very upset, went galloping back to the beach and told her uh, lover William Turner. Willie Turner now? Why not? Willie, Willie Turner. Will Turner. Willie Turner. She told Willie Turner of everything that had transpired, and, and they decided that the best thing to do was go to the father together, to the king, and uh, plead their case uh, and prove how, how strong and how true their love was. And the two of them went to the castle and pleaded their case, this time not in Elven, and the father became incensed and just with a mighty spray of blood, killed Willie Tanner on the spot, and horrifying everyone involved, including the princess. Now, there are many different endings to this story. Some say that she ran away uh, to eventually marry again, uh, some nice uh, man named uh, Theodore who ran a pub. It seemed very reasonable. Some say uh, that she just vanished mysteriously into the water, never to be seen again. And some say, and this is my favorite, that her father, the king, drank some poison tea and died. And that is, as they say, the proverbial tea. Hi, I'm Rini, and I have a beautiful, lovely story to tell you. And actually, I was going to tell it to Caleb, but he's busy reading a book or something. I don't know what Caleb does. But anyway, so now I'm going to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful elven princess named Anethanel, and she fell in love with a sailor named William Teller. And... William Teller courted Anethanel over several months, singing her beautiful songs and wooing her. And one day he gave her a beautiful conch shell. And she was like, cool conch shell. And so excited and, and overblown by her love for Willie Teller, she decided to go to her father, King Momin. And she tells King Momin the story, and it went something like this. Like this? Like this. Ashila Shala Snorkel Sneefri Snorkel Snorkel Sneaky Snorkel Snoo. And then King Momin went, How? Dare you tell me of this torrid love affair and in our sacred tongue, no less. You will not marry this lowlife William Teller. And distraught, she went back to Willie and was like, oh, my dad doesn't approve. I'm a beautiful elf and uh, you're William Teller from the series Elf fame. So <laughs> she, uh, William Teller was like, no, I got an idea. Let's just go back and we'll talk to your father, King Momin, together. So they galloped back to, I don't know why galloping was mentioned, but they galloped back to her father and it did not go well. William Teller is not as eloquent as he thought he was, and King Moen pulled out his glaive and sliced open his throat, and blood just sprayed everywhere, some getting onto Princess Anethanel, and she 
ran back out of, well, okay, so there are many ends to this story. Some people say that Anathanel ran away and opened her own tavern and she's a barkeep now. And then some people say she went back into the ocean and swam away. And now I'm wondering if she's in a mermaid, but then also they mentioned galloping earlier. So maybe she's a centaur, maybe she's a mer centaur. So she lives in the ocean now. Um, and then some say that King Momin was poisoned and died. And that's how he met his fate. So that's the story. Real, real upper of a story. I'm Rini, bye. Hi, it's me, Rini, and I'm here to tell you an amazing story. I can't wait to tell you about it. Uh, I tried to tell it to Caleb, but he was too busy reading books or something. I don't really know what Caleb does this time, but anyway, I get to tell you now. So anyway, once upon a time, there was a beautiful elven princess named, named, named Anethanel, and she was beautiful and she was uh, just this magical princess who had fallen in love with a man named William Teller. And William Teller and her had this, this torrid love affair amongst the two of them uh, that, that would be, would have been sung about for the ages, except for she became worried that uh, perhaps it, it, it wasn't enough but to be in love, but to be accepted as well. And she thought, hold on, William, I, I need to go tell my father. I'm so happy and so in love. I must tell him, and with his approval, we shall be wed. And he's like, of course, of course we shall be wed, because I am William Teller, a, a very uh, debonair and talented actor. Uh, so she went, don't worry, you hold on to that, I'll be right back. And uh, uh, <laughs> so she went uh, off to go tell her father, King uh, M Monona? King, King Monona, her father, King Monona. And uh, she went and told him, uh, just like this, <laughs> to where King Monona said, how dare you tell me of this sordid love affair and in our own secret national tongue? Angry he was and said, no, no, you shall not marry this William Teller. And she, of course, ran off back to, to her lover and said, my, my love, William Teller, uh, of Alpha fame, I am so sorry, but my, my father will not approve of us being married. And William says, fear not, for I am a talented orator, being a you know, trained performer and actor who reached the height of my fame in the 80s. I, uh, I will speak to your father with you, together. By the power of our love and our words combined, he will be moved. And so they galloped back, apparently galloping was mentioned as a thing, so they galloped on back uh, to King Menonin, uh, Menomena, King Menomena. Uh, and, and, and William and her told uh, him of their love together, and uh, it did not go well at all. It, it, it went real bad. Uh, King Menona, Menomena got extremely angry and pulled out his glaive and sliced open the throat of William Teller and blood just sprayed everywhere and he fell to the ground dead. And uh, there are there are many endings to the story, actually. There are, there are some who, who say that she she ran away from this and, and went and started her own tavern, where now she is a tavern keep. I guess where she continues to tell this tale in all of its con confusing ways. Um, others say that she went and ran into the ocean uh, and I guess, I guess became a mermaid? Was she a mermaid? Oh, they said galloping, maybe she was also a centaur. Like a mermaid centaur. She was a mermaid centaur in the ocean. Halfway in the ocean, I guess, if you're both mermaid and centaur, just partway through. Um, but, uh, anyway, that, that is the story that I can remember. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and remember, I'm Rini! 
Okay, hi, I'm Reenie. And I tried to tell this story to Caleb, but he's always working with his books, so he was busy. So instead, I'm gonna tell it to you. Okay, once upon a time, there was a princess named Enfamel. Um, Enfamel was a beautiful princess, and she was madly in love with a man named William Teller, who was an actor and performer and orator and very talented, and he had a rich baritone voice, um, and he would always say, Hi, I'm William Teller. That was sort of his catchphrase. Anyway, they were madly in love. They had a love affair for the ages, but she was worried that they wouldn't be accepted in society. After all, he was a lowly actor and she was a princess. So they decided to ask her father for permission to get married for his approval. Um, uh, William Teller suggested that he go ask for permission because after all, he's a talented performer. But but Enfamel said, no, I will go gallop to my father now. So she galloped clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop to the palace um, and asked her father, King Monona, uh, for permission to marry this lowly actor. Um, and she asked him for his approval like this. Uh, after she finished her presentation, uh, the king stood, King Monono stood angrily and said, How dare you insult me with this request, and in our native tongue as well. I will never agree to let you marry an actor. <clears throat> uh, she, she galloped, clip-clop, 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 back to her love, William Teller, who was a star from the 80s of alpha fame. I don't know. Um, and he was distraught. He said, you know what, my love, we will go ask one more time, but this time we will ask your father together. So they galloped, clip-clop, 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 back to the palace and made their case one last time, William Teller stating that he was madly in love with Princess Elphabel. Um, the king stood, rose from his throne, drew his glaive and slashed the throat of William Teller. Uh, um, killing him, spilling his blood all over the palace floor, um, ending his life and ruining uh, this love. Um, and that's how the story ends. Um, what happened to Elphabel, you ask? Well, some say she became a tavern keeper uh, and entertains her patrons with this story. Others say that she became a mermaid, the sadness, I guess, the, the tears turned her into a, an aquatic creature. Um, still more say that she became a centaur, a uh, half horse, half princess, who still clip-clop, clip-clop gallop, gallops to this day, some say into the ocean halfway. Um, but one thing is sure about this story. I'm Rini. Okay, hello, I'm Rini, and I was going to tell this story to Caleb, but he was just so busy with all of his books, so. Here it goes. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Enfamil. That's, I think that's baby formula. I don't know. So her name is Enfamil, and she was so in love with this boy named William Teller. And William Teller was a, an actor. And she, of course, was a princess, and they were so worried that people were not going to accept their love for each other, her being a, a, a princess and him a lowly actor. And, you know, they're freaking out about it, and they're like, well, how are people gonna accept us? And he's like, let's go to your dad. Let's go talk to your dad, he'll make everything okay. And if he accepts us, then everybody else will. So she's like, no, 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 that's not gonna work. And he's like, no, 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 let's do it. And then she goes, no, 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 I will go. It's my dad, I will go talk to him. So she gets on her horse. She clippity-cloppity, clippity-cloppity all the way to, to her dad's house. King Minono in his castle. So she pulls up on her horse, gets out, goes to her dad. And when she sees him, she's like, Menu, menu, moopy doopy, Miss Mumba, bibbidi, limpy drippy, mumpy dumpies. 
and Timby Pimby, Tamby Pambies. So she finishes and King Minono is like, how dare you come in here and talk to me and tell me this story in our native tongue and, and tell me that you're in love with an actor? No, 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 this is not gonna happen. Get out of here. So she goes, she goes back to William Teller and he is very sad, but he's like, you know what? It's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. How about we both go talk to your dad? If he meets me, for sure it's gonna be okay. I'm an actor from the 80s from a show called Alfo. Alfie. Not Alf, but some. Yeah, so they go there and they get in there and King Minono takes out a sword, whoosh, chops off his head, clean off, rolling around on the floor. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. This is awful. She runs away and as the story goes, Princess Elphabel, name change, she became Legend has it she became a centaur, and other people say she also became a mermaid so she could swim in the sea to, to drown her tears. Other people say she became a tavern keeper. Me, I believe she became half centaur, half, half princess, and she swims in the water. And she lives her life now in sadness. <sighs> Sorry, I love you, Laura. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Rini. Um, I wanted to tell the story to Caleb, but he was busy reading all of his stupid books. So I'm going to tell you guys instead. And this is a story about a beautiful princess named Enfamil. Named Enfamil, who was in love with a boy named William Teller who was a lowly actor. She, a high and mighty princess, he, a lowly actor. They were concerned that people were not gonna accept their, their love because, uh, you know, of what I just said. So, you know, they went back and forth and they decided, oh, let's go, oh, let's go talk to the king and Femil's dad because if he would accept the romance, then everybody would have to, right? So they say, let's go. And then she goes, no, 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 I'll go by myself. And he says, no, 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 I want to go. And she says, no, 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 I'll go by myself. So they decide she's going to go by herself. He's my dad. I'm going to take care of the issue. So she gets on her horse and she clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clops all the way to the castle to go see King Minono. So she gets to the castle and she hops off her horse and she goes in the house, the castle. And she says, Bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi boo bee tamby wamby namby pamby uh, Hannah Mamma Jamba. And he goes, How oh, dare you come at me in our native tongue and tell me all of this? And get out of my house. I'm not gonna let you marry an actor. And so she goes back to. William and they decide, oh, okay, fine, we'll go talk to him, him together because he's an actor, obviously, he's got some charisma or something, so he's gonna be able to talk that into it. So they go back to the castle and King Winona is not happy and he pulls out a sword and he swings it and chops off the head of William Teller. <laughs> is that really his name? William Teller, and his head goes rolling across the floor, and oh god, Infamil, Infelba, Infamil is watching the head roll around, and she's so upset, and I don't know what happens from here. She, like, runs out, and some people say that she became a centaur. Some people say she became a mermaid. Some people say that she just, uh, stayed a princess? I don't know. That she, oh, she was a mermaid, and she drowned in tears in the sea. I personally believe that she is half centaur, half princess, and just super sad, you know, and she likes to go swimming. Was there a moral? That's the end. Hey! hey. 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 hey.
Every, every, every. Here we are. It's 2021. We're still doing narrative telephone because we're still in quarantine. What is up? Yeah. Every, every, every. Huzzah. 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 Help us. <laughs> We're stuck in a game loop. Oh. And uh, this time, the lovely Mika Burton kicked hey. us off. Hi. Kick, kicked us. You can just yeah. say kicked us. Yeah. Yeah. The lovely Mika Burton yeah. kicked us. I just remember getting an email from Max saying, ha, 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 you killed them. And I was like, yay. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, can't wait to hear the story. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Me thinks it might have changed quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were towards the end, Ash. So I, I will say I'm actually deeply excited to see this one because I feel like it was so dense with information. Well, so it everybody was? else has talents at like really good accents or like there's, you know, substance and, and backstory to characters. So I was like, what if I threw in a language that doesn't exist mm -hmm. and that's a way that I can make it fun? Right. That definitely stuck okay. around for most oh, of that. Was stuck. <laughs> that oh. is familiar. Oh no. <laughs> I don't um, yeah. know oh. if I could continue to call it a language. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wait, wait okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, wow. I apologize to anybody that speaks fluent Elvish if I butchered some pronunciations. Can you actually uh, speak fluent yeah. Elvish? Yeah. I think people speak I think it was actually it's, it's it's a pretty good like Klingon. Pretty yeah. good pronunciation throughout. So I think oh yeah, okay I can't there. wait yeah. to see yeah. how, was how it well good? it's Was it like yeah. Sylvan or Quenai or? So what? it was actually D and D Elvish. I was what? gonna do oh. Sindarin, but I thought yeah. eh, I, I should that. stick to D and D. I mean, you native know? that made it all, all the way Elvish through. Speakers. Definitely, call. Yeah. 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 did so Native much. Elvish speakers could probably tell, but from everyone from outside. I'm glad. I'm glad that the Elvish stuff. We are about to offend so many elves. I can hear the Elvish hate coming. They're big on Twitter. Yeah, they're real big on Twitter. Oh, just really full funny. disclosure, you got to that mm. second elven word, and I just went, nah, fuck that. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, oh if it's no. The, if it's the oh, moment I remember, <laughs> yeah. this is going to get real interesting real quick. Oh, no. Well, I just, oh, yeah, boy. let's see. I just wanted to, you know, give what Stand you guys in. were giving, so. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't, mm. oh, I can't oh, wait for this. Oh, 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 why didn't anyone else do that? We're no so one did sparkles. She's what the so hell, close. you guys? It's because Travis went second. I don't have, I don't have gold did glitter you on. This is the this is Travis. the first prop one Travis. where I actually have Travis. everything Travis. necessary Travis. that I could have. Travis, I would have gone outside and gotten a goddamn flower. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Instantly, okay. yes. yeah. instantly. She's too pretty. We could have all been cute. So this is a story I was saving to tell Mr. Caleb next time I saw him because I know he loves books and stuff. She's on fast forward. I like it too. All the elves in Uthador know you this think, one. Right? So, okay, here we go. There was once a beautiful elven princess named Elenathriel that lived in Arvandor. And, <laughs> and she, on a rare outing away from her kingdom, fell for a human sailor named William Tan. The seafaring man was struck by her beauty the moment he saw her and offered her a beautiful conch shell in exchange for just Jesus a moment of her time. Oh, After spending wow. all afternoon with what? her newfound love, she returned to her father, King Malandor, excited to share her happiness with oh, her. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Father, she exclaimed, Alhonda Brath Ultath Shantar and Tath Lalala. <laughs> Oh, hollow breath. The king raised an eyebrow at her, disgusted that she expressed such a deep connection with this man she just met, in their native tongue, no less. Get out of here. Think I would allow such a courtship? He questioned angrily. <laughs> and now you see, it wasn't because the man was a human and she an elf. No, no, no. The king wouldn't dare allow his daughter, an Etriel, to be betrothed to a lowly Theranos. She was worthy of nobility, and nobility alone. So heartbroken, she ran from the castle, mounted her horse, and rode for the beach again. William was not expecting to see his love so soon and rushed to her in concern. When she told him what happened, he immediately rode Ellen Athriel back to the kingdom. We're not only halfway done! <sighs> Malandor at first thanked William for being so responsible as to bring back his wayward daughter, only to have the Crown's Guard immediately seize and execute William on the spot. Crimson spray oh. showering all over the throne room. Okay, Do not yeah. Dare that. Okay, okay. Me again, That's memorable. You will learn your place. Should have done the arms. From his sobbing daughter, as he left the servants to mop up the horrid remains. 
So now the endings to this story differ. Some say Ellen Athriel threw herself to the ocean to always be with William's wandering soul. Okay. And some say she forgot her dear sailor entirely and went on to marry an elven prince, doing what her father bid. Shit. My favorite ending is the one where she ends up ruling the kingdom after her father fell mysteriously to some poison tea when he least expected it. Ooh. Two <gasps> Oh, I was really happy. It was two minutes. It was two minutes. I was really happy with myself. Wow. You wow. got it in. Yeah. I mean, I wow. cut it down a lot and I deleted the three up elven phrases. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Pow Pow Power Wheels guy was talking. No, what was it? Micro Machines? Micro Micro Machines. Machines. I stopped looking at the video. I had to look away because I was just like, oh God, if I if I look at her, I'm not going to get any of it. I can't look at any gold sparkle Smart. on the cheek or anything. Smart. I just have to like Smart. absorb. I was really impressed with the Simlish that you added. We went from Elvish yeah. to full yeah, Simlish. No, I was Nordic like, wow. Simlish. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. I will, I will was... say that's a pro tip. If if you close your eyes, it's yeah. much it's, it's easy. much easier. Really? Mind yeah. Palace, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Keywords like three times in a row. I'll be like, Mando, yep. Mando, Mando. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do that too. Yeah. Do the same I got thing. one name and the rest are gone. You, you've lost part of it because you've been repeating the name. You've been repeating yeah. the yeah. name. Yeah. 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 What was I her got, name? I got ten F-N-M poles. Girl. I just go from one, and, and, yeah. one vine to the other. Elenathriel. Mando and Mando. Elenathriel. Elenathriel got on the horse. It's Starlight Princess in Sindari. Of course it is. Come on. Don't say that like we don't know. Don't treat. Don't. Don't talk down to us. We know. I also said. I said noble. I said noble elf. I also said sailor. I also said daughter in Elvish. I heard the daughter part. Yes, Asum was daughter. But your Elvish was a southern Elvish, and Travis was doing more of a northern northeastern. Yeah. No, I got that. His accent. Was hard to understand, but I I I, I heard through it. Yeah. He Make sure he learned his Elvish Respect. from uh, yeah. Tim Conway Respect as Dorf. Travis. I brought my A game for you. Yeah, yeah. Travis. That was, that Who was followed guy. Travis? Because I want to know where it all fell apart. Liam, right here. Liam is in the cursed. <laughs> That's third the cursed spot. Cursed, oh, cursed no. third. oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> so let's see. Oh yeah. Yep. Let's do it. <clears throat> yes. <sighs> okay. Nice booth. Personally <laughs> attacked. <laughs> oh. <There we> go. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. This is Rini. Um, I was saving this story for Mr. Caleb because I know that he really likes books, but yes. I figured you might like it as well. Uh, this is a story that every good elf from uh, Uthadurn would know. It's nice. a story of good. a princess named Anathanel. Uh, and that was a princess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's gonna sell it. Um, one day she was uh, Take traveling lead. by horseback and she <laughs> rode down onto the shore and she ran into a, a handsome sailor from a far off land named William Tanner. Yes. Which yeah. I was the name of the father on the 80s sitcom uh, Alf. That's where that came from. <laughs> no, it was from Pirates. They fell deeply, deeply in love, and William Tanner gave definitely weaves that in. <laughs> How do you know that? And she took that country yeah. and traveled back to meet her father in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> oh, because the king's name was Mando? Well, look it up right now. King Mando. And uh, <laughs> told her, uh, King Mando all about her love for this William Tanner in their their elven tongue. And it sounded something like this. Yeah, yeah. And her Amazing. father was enraged and said, how dare you tell me of your love for this ingrate from another land in our native tongue, no less. And he caused madness in the chamber. <laughs> he smacked And she fled the chamber and rode back to the beach, back to the beach on horseback. And she found Willie Tanner. Alf, please don't eat Willy the Tanner. cat. And said, told her, told her love all about her father's rage. And he said, well, we must return to your father and make our case together and heal this breach. I could not live if there was a breach between you and your father. Mando. So they rode back together and uh, stood before the king. And the king initially seemed to be placated somewhat by this mm. man coming to make their case. But then he turned on a dime and <laughs> slew <laughs> Willie Tanner right in front of the entire kingdom and Alf and everybody, sp- spraying the chamber in crimson. And uh, Princess Anathanel fled her father and rode away on horseback. And I'll tell you, some people, there are different uh, endings. Uh, people nice. disagree on the yeah. ending of this story. Some yeah. say that she threw pretty herself good, pretty good. Hold on, man. In, yeah. in misery and heartbreak because of Willie Tanner. Uh, and some say that she went on to marry a good elven gentleman from Uthadurn and lead uh, as her father would have her. Uh, uh, but I prefer the ending where her father died by drinking some poison tea. Ooh, that nice. This is the tea, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yes! But 
That was Nico. Holy moly. <laughs> that was amazing. amazing. That's pretty that great. great. Ah, this I is held it together. I'm so and happy indeed, that Mando is now. Indeed, his Max Wright yes. did play wow. Willie Tanner on Alf, according oh, to the Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, or the character name. The, the character character's name. name was How Willie did Tanner. you know Tanner. that? Because no, I used to love Alf growing up in his book like this. Liam, <laughs> sure, it's because of William well, we were... Turner, because no. of Pirates of the Caribbean, no, you, you, know, know. Oh, you can't hide it here. No, Alf is scared it, me. Is it also <laughs> because it's Orlando Bloom and Orlando Bloom was also an elf? That's why I'm wearing Aragorn's ah! ring. I'm a fucking nerd. Deep. Leah, that was like wow. the strongest like third deep. scene show. It really, it really was. was. That was, it was really solid. good. Does and that actually get messed up? Because that was really no. That cool. it, it stays remarkably. It yeah, remarkably I think we're getting too together. good at this, so we should probably. Just, just, we should stop the episode let, now. Let, let, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me help. Let yeah. me help yeah, fix ta- this. Talison. Uh, I'll help. Talison went next. Okay. Yeah, I, I can. I think I can hold on to this pretty, pretty, pretty well. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yay. Yeah, okay. Look at that Great. deer in the headlights. You look good in the hoodie too, Talison. Oh, oh, I love it. It's my it's my quiet time hoodie. Oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Rini and I uh, have a story to tell. You're it's so one cute. of it's like a, a great old elven story that oh, I'm God. excited to tell to you. I was actually saving this story for for Caleb, but for some reason that I don't remember, uh, he's like reading a book or something like that. <laughs> it, there was a lot to take in. <laughs> so there we are. Um, so the story begins: Once upon a time, there was this elven princess named uh, Anathanel. Hey! Um, Whoa! Very beautiful and very, uh, very funny and witty, and everybody loved her so very, very much. And she fell madly in love with the sailor that she met, named William Tanner. Hey! <laughs> yes. nice. hey. William Tanner named so uh, named after. Uh, the father, William Tanner, from the Get series out Elf. Damn! <laughs> 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 very over many, many months, eventually giving her a beautiful conch wow. shell, which was, but mm. finally grabbed her heart, and uh, she <laughs> went to her father, uh, whose name Fuck was it. King Yolo. Bowman. 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 Man she was in love with this sailor and it sounded moment, moment, uh, moment. something like this it's like fuck it at that point <laughs> uh, and after this beautiful story uh, the king uh uh, spoke to his daughter and said, "How dare you tell me of this love affair with this with this sailor? Especially in our own tongue, I am I am incensed and I refuse to accept this." And so she, very upset, went galloping back to the beach and mm-hmm. told her uh, yep, lover, the William galloper. Turner, Willie Turner. Now, why not Willie Willie Turner? Yep, Will Turner, Willie Turner. Good old totally Willie Willie Turner. Turner. Fuck it. Um, and Bill. It transpired. And, Bill Turner. And they decided Turner the best Network. thing to do was go to the father together, to the king, and uh, plead their case uh, and prove how, how strong and how true their love was. And the two of them went to the castle and pleaded their case, this time not in Elven. And the father <laughs> <laughs> and just with a spray of blood killed Willie Tanner on the spot, and horrifying everyone involved, including <laughs> the princess. Now, there are many oh boy, this is where it gets weird. Some say that she ran away uh, to eventually marry again uh, some nice uh, man named uh, Theodore who ran a pub. She just vanished mysteriously <laughs> into the water, never to be seen again. And oh some say, and this is my favorite, Two new endings. that her father, the king, drank some poison tea and died. And that is, as they say, the proverbial tea. Um, hey! Wow. I feel like there was more, but I don't remember what it was. That's, that's almost what four we got, minutes. and it's really long. Uh, good night, and God bless. <laughs> 
Oh God! I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Talison, you wow. doubled good. the runtime. I'm so impressed. Oh, I was. I, I saw. I saw Liam's uh, runtime and was and just had a oh no panic attack. <laughs> yeah, I think nope. it kept getting longer because <laughs> yep, I remember I so when too. it got to me, I was like, oh, this is a five minute video. That <laughs> oh I'm no! About. Yeah, like I, I saw his and and like Max was like, oh, he he like pauses a lot. There's a lot of breathing and you no, you didn't. You were just going. <laughs> you went for it. Just going. I do. I do milk a lot but this is the 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 best a story has done i think in any episode it, it yeah. Yeah. i'm very survived. impressed so it's surviving really well it i'm kind of disappointed it, it survived oh yeah. don't worry Mika. don't worry we'll get there <laughs> i miss mando it stays. Though. now that yeah, now that I've brought, put, I've brought i've brought theodore and i'm really excited about theodore, <laughs> yeah, theodore i feel like the he's pub owner. i feel like theodore's and got a lot of legs King, what did you call him? King, King Momo? I don't know. King Momo. Moment. 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 Well, I, like um, I went next. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I went next. <laughs> no problem. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. This, you shaved some that, time All off. that Elvish was made for you. Hi, I'm Rini, and I have a beautiful, lovely story to tell you. And actually, I was going to tell it to Caleb, but he's busy reading a book or something. I don't know what Caleb does. But anyway, so now I'm going to tell <laughs> you. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful elven princess named Anethanel. And hey, she fell in love something. with a sailor named William Teller. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and is. over several months, Whoa. singing her beautiful songs, viewing her. Perfect. And one day he gave her a beautiful conch shell. Uh-huh. And she was like, cool conch shell. <laughs> There's and my right so excited and, and overblown by her love for Willie Teller, yeah. she decided to go to her father, King Momin. Hey! And she tells King Momin the story, and it went something like this. Like this. Like this. I'm going to be a snorkel. Snorkel. This is the chaos I wanted. Snorkel is your nonsense word? moment went. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Dear, <laughs> tell me of this torrid love affair. Just like and the in our secret tongue, no less. Secret tongue. You will not secret marry secret. this lowlife William Teller. And <laughs> from Al. She went back to Willie and was like, oh, my dad doesn't approve. I'm a beautiful elf. And uh, <laughs> you're William Teller from the series Elf. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so she, uh, William Teller was like, no, I got an idea. Let's just go back and we'll talk to your father, King Momin, together. Yeah, I did that. I'm so sorry. they galloped back to, I don't know why galloping was mentioned, but they galloped oh, back to it's the coming. I don't know. And yep, it did not go well. William <laughs> is not as eloquent as he thought he was. And was King like Moen pulled out his right there. glaive and sliced open glaive. his throat. There's where the glaive <laughs> came from. Sliced everywhere. So I'm getting onto Princess of Nathanel. And <laughs> she ran back out of... Well, okay, so... Just five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> Some people say that Nathanel ran away and opened her own tavern. Yep. Oh! And she's a barkeep now. And then some people say she <laughs> went sure. back into the ocean and swam away. And now I'm wondering if she's in a mermaid. Uh huh. But then also <laughs> I'm into it. galloping earlier, so maybe she's a centaur. Maybe oh she's a boy! A <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, oh what a win! I know what's yes. happening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was poisoned and died, and that's okay. how he met Brought his back. fate. So uh, that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> real, real upper. Uh, story. <laughs> I 
I'm Remy. Bye. <laughs> we, did we did it. We finally wow. got to the one. That's there perfection. That's, that's the that's pivot point. Perfection. Hey, oh, we're yeah, one yeah. step yeah. further, though. You did. You, you know? got like two. Yeah. You got like yeah. one or two yeah. steps further. Yeah. Chained yeah. oblivion. We are Marisha, getting huh? better. Yeah, yeah. It, was yeah. Bad. it was not yes. a gradual increase of time. That was a plateau <laughs> spike. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that everybody's default when they don't know what to say to start a story is, hi, I am character. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's because we know that no one will know based off of the voice we're doing. <laughs> Got it. Be, okay. Exactly. You know, it's too Hi, much I'm YouTubing. Caleb. It's Hello. too much YouTubing. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hi, guys. Yeah, it's, it's me. Like, share, subscribe. When in doubt, state your name. Yeah. Um, well, Matt went after me. Yeah, it's always a good sign when, as soon as you finish your scene, you're like, I don't remember anything that happened. So I don't remember anything, and I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Oh, you look so panicked. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Rini, and I'm here to tell you an amazing story. I can't wait to tell you about it. Uh, I tried to tell it to Caleb, but he was too busy reading books or something. I don't pretty really good, know what pretty good. Caleb does this time. But anyway, I get to tell you now. So anyway, once upon a time, there was a beautiful elven princess named... Name it. 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 Perhaps it, it, it wasn't enough but to be in love, but to be accepted as well. And oh. she thought, oh, okay. Oh. Adding some context. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 to this shit. So happy and so in love. I must That's tell That's Mercer him. for you, laying and in that character approval. detail. We shall be wed. It's like, of course. Of course we shall be wed. I like this I story better. A, a very uh, debonair and talented actor. Oh. <laughs> she went, don't worry. Yeah. You hold on to that. I'll be right back. Stuck around. <laughs> and, uh, uh, That's oh, no. So she oh, went no. uh, off to go tell her father, oh, no. King uh, <laughs> Monona. Uh -huh. King, okay. King Monona. <laughs> yeah. King, King Jason Momoa. King Monona Jazz. <laughs> See? <laughs> Standard Elvish. <laughs> How dare you tell me of this sordid love affair and in our own secret national tongue? Angry he was. So secret yeah. national <laughs> tongue. <laughs> yeah. Secret national. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Of Alpha Fame, I am. Oh, that's what you said. Oh, that's what you said. What a good throwaway. Oh my god. Of Alpha Fame. Secret national. Of Alpha Fame. I, uh, I will speak to your father with you together. This is going so well. Oh, oh wait, it's still going on? He's still going. So they galloped back. We're uh, halfway. Mention is a thing. We're so they galloped on back uh, to King Menonen. Menomena. <laughs> King Menomen. There it is. And her told uh, him of their love together, and uh, it did not go well at all. It, it, it went real bad. Uh, King Menona, Menomena got extremely angry and pulled out his glaive and sh sliced open the throat of William Teller and blood just sprayed everywhere and he fell to the ground dead. And uh, there are there are many endings to the story, actually. There are, there are some who Please say that choose she, one. she ran away from this. <laughs> like the movie Clue. And started her own tavern, where now she's a tavern keep. I guess where she continues to tell this tale and all of us. Tavern keep. Um, yeah, others say that she keep. went and ran into the ocean. No, that was tell uh, And I guess, I guess became a mermaid? Was she a mermaid? Oh, Travis, you missed a lot. Maybe she was also a centaur. <laughs> like a mermaid centaur. Holy she was shit. a mermaid centaur <laughs> in the ocean. Halfway through. <laughs> mermaid centaur. Just halfway through. Um, but, uh, anyway. Sorry. That, that is the story <laughs> that I can remember. No I poison. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and remember, I'm Rini. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That was that was like wiffle ball where you just you see the ball Secret rise and slowly fall and you just like yeah. you're Secret just national language. Yep. <laughs> yep. I want to write a whole novel based around a Murtar <laughs> secret <laughs> national <Shittle> language. <laughs> a Minna Maid. A Minna Maid. <laughs> Oh my God! I see where I went astray. <laughs> you said I feel like, I you feel said like there's already a tingler about fame, this. But I heard of Alpha Fame, so no. I started. Okay, I had the weirdest that. ideas. Oh no! Oh, it's fine. No. It didn't. It didn't do much. But I was like, "What is Alpha? What am I? What is that?" Oh. Too alpha. See alpha. Too I was alpha, so afraid no. everyone was doing too, too well, alpha, and it it's alpha. it's so beautifully no. disintegrated. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh yeah. We told you. That goes away. That went away fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this, yeah. this is yeah. like yeah. a story that was Once thrown starts, away by Chuck Tingle. Fast. It's just like, like so weird. The, sky. the core, yeah. the core yeah. of it is there, but so much burned away on the yeah. way. But then yeah. also, so much was yeah. added. There's a mermaid. There's a centaur. There's a tavern. It's yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. There's that. Willie Teller. <laughs> Let's <laughs> find <laughs> out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and King Manamana. Sam. Okay. It's oh. Sam. Manamana. It's all right. Sam will sell it. Okay. Whatever it is. Hi. I really why is your, why is the light tell red? the story to Caleb, but he's always working with his books, so he was busy. So instead, I'm going to tell it to you. Okay, once upon a time, there was a princess named... Big eyes. Name it. Enfamel. Um, Enfamel. Enfamel. Was a beautiful Enfamel. Princess, Enfamel. She was madly in love. It sounds like a chemical. It's what old people drink. Nicholas yes. Flamel. Who was an actor. And a oh. And oh. very talented, oh. and he had a rich... Baritone voice. Um, <laughs> we always say, "Hi, I'm William Teller." That's that very nice. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> and we're in the ages, but she was worried that they wouldn't be accepted in society. I After hear you're all, looking for that natural read. <laughs> so, no longer a sailor. To <laughs> gone. Gone. Permission to get married for his approval. Um, uh, William Teller suggested that he go ask for permission because, after all, he's a talented performer. But, but Enfamel said, "No, I will go gallop with my father now." So she galloped, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, yeah, clip clop, um, and asked there it her is. father, King Manona, uh, for permission to marry this lowly actor. Um, and she asked him for his approval like this. I'm the scat man. How dare you insult me with this request? And in our native tongue as well. I will never agree to let you marry an actor. It's like the galaxy quest. <laughs> and made their case one last time. William Teller stating that he was madly in love with Princess Elphabel. Um, <laughs> rose from his throne, Elphabel. drew his blade, and slashed the throat of William Teller, uh, um, killing Crimson. him, spilling his blood all over the palace floor, um, ending his life and ruining uh, this love. Um, and that's how the story ends. Oh. Um, what happened to, to Alphabel, you ask? Well, some say she became a tavern keeper uh, and entertains her patrons with this story. Others say that she became a mermaid. The sadness, I guess, the, the tears turned her into a, an aquatic creature. Um, still, <laughs> a centaur, uh, half horse, half princess, who still clip All clop, clip clop, gallop, gallops to this day, some say into the ocean halfway. Um, halfway. I'm not sure about this story. Halfway. I'm Rini. <laughs> yes. I missed some details. Oh my god. Oh, you know, you? Alpha. Oh no. That show. Alpha, Alpha fame. That show, Alpha. The famous Alpha. show from the 80s, Alpha. Yeah. Watch Alpha. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy. 
I blame a lot of that on the fact that you just binged the toast of London. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yes. It's a lot of ser- surrealist stuff. I'm just My so happy mom. Clip Clop oh is staying. Why is yeah. Gallup so important? Someone say Gallop. You know, That's a Clip thing Clop. now. That Foley in you. It's like turning yep, get it slowly. In. Get it on, baby. Yep. If this went for like 10 more rounds, it would turn into a horror story and it would be. <laughs> oh, yeah. You in a horse hear, race track. Yeah. <laughs> Clip Clops as they approach in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Some say to this day you can still hear Princess Alphabus clip clops. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is how they wrote Sea Biscuit. Oh, yeah. oh. I was picking up some similarities. Yeah, mm-hmm. who is who's well, actually Sam? Ashley. 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 Oh God. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Just the upper we needed. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Oh. Every oh, week. Every so cute. every side. Oh, well. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. I gotta got get my longer. style back on. No, it's about the same length. <sighs> okay. 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 This is a long one. Er. <clears throat> okay. Hype yourself up. Okay, hello, I'm Rini, and I was going to tell this story to Caleb. Glad you recorded this while your laundry was running? Yeah. So, I guess, sorry. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a princess named Enfamil. Enfamil. <laughs> 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 so, Rina's Enfamil, and she was so in love with this boy named William Teller. And William Teller was a, an, an actor. And she, of course, was a princess. <laughs> an actor. And they were so worried that they were not going to accept so their love for each other. Her being a, a, a princess and him a lowly actor. And, yep. you know, they're freaking out about it. And they're like, well, how are people going to accept us? Yeah, and yeah, he said that. And he's like, let's go to your dad. Let's go talk to your dad. He'll make let's go to okay. your dad. And so like, no, 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 that's not going to work. And he's like, no, 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 Gail? let's do it. And then she goes, no, 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 I will go. It's my dad. I will go talk to him. So oh, yeah, she gets yeah. on her horse. Like 40 seconds of that. Thank you. Clippity cloppity all the way to Clippity. her dad. Clippity cloppity. King Minono in his castle. So she pulls up. One no no? She pulls out, gets out, goes to her dad. Minono. And oh. when she sees him, she's like, Menu, Menu, Moopy Doopy. Manu, Manu. Manu, Manu. Flippy Drippy, Moopy Dockies. And Tippy Pimpy, Tandy Pambies. So. And King Minono is like, Oh my god, that's so good! Come in here oh. and talk to me and tell me this story in our native tongue and and tell me that you're in love with an actor? No, 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 no. This is not gonna happen. Get out of here. So she goes, <laughs> she goes back Get to out of here. Tell her. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like it's the great. modern retelling. <laughs> <Right>. It's like <laughs> very sad. But he's like, you know what? It's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. How about we both go talk to your dad? If he meets me, for sure it's gonna be okay. I'm an actor from the 80s from a show called... Alpho. Alpha. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're okay. practically there. You almost brought it back. Not Alpha. Not Alpha. Oh, shit. So King Minono takes out a sword. <laughs> Off his head, clean oh, 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 She's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did this. This is awful. I can't believe you've she done this. I can't believe you've done this. Terrible. Oh, the story goes. <laughs> Princess Elphabel, named King, she became, legend has it, she became a centaur. And other people say she also became a mermaid so she could swim in the sea to, to drown her tears. Other people True. say she became a tavern keeper. Me, nope. I believe she became half centaur, half <laughs> half princess. And that she makes swims no sense. She swims in the water. No, 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 that makes sense. sense. Nice. So, <laughs> wow. Nice. So much yeah. good stuff. Big exhale. Fucking so much perfect. great stuff. I think uh, half centaur, half princess means that they're, you're a quarter horse, <laughs> quarter human, quarter princess. No, you only half have princess. boobs on the, the arms. arms. The left left human. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
and you don't have a castle, just a very nice stable. Oh no, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh no, why did you do that? Uh, Definitely that not Elf. No, could not. Wait, wait, to, wait to circle the vacuum on that one. Of like, oh well, God. there's a clear answer, Ooh. but it can't be that. <laughs> that felt story. This is the story of how elves left us and sailed into the west. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like we gotta get out. I of feel here. like I yeah. left out a lot. <laughs> well, you okay. closed this out. Did you? I so we'll like see. Let's find out. Let's oh. see what survives. What's my time at? Oh no, three minutes. Okay. okay. Hey, well, you, you, you cut thirty down. seconds. You yeah, cut thirty okay. seconds. Cut for yeah. time. <clears throat> Cool. And you look beautiful. Ooh. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Rini. Um, I wanted to tell the story to Caleb, but he was busy reading all of his stupid books. So, <laughs> <laughs> and this is a story about a beautiful princess named. It's like Maltine Rini. And the <laughs> mill. Named Ethanil, who was in love yeah, with singing it a out. boy named yeah. Ethanil. Teller. Hey. A lowly actor. She, Yay. a high and mighty princess. He, a lowly actor. Oh, they yeah. Good. were Feeling concerned it. that people were not going to accept their. their they. Love right? It resonates. It resonates. It is a story for the ages. Yes. So, you know, they went back and forth, and they. They went back and forth. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go talk to the king and his yeah. dad. Because if he would accept the romance, then everybody would have to, right? Yeah. So sure. They say, let's go. And then she goes, no, 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 I'll go by myself. And he says, no, 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 I want to go. And she says, no, 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 I'll go by myself. <laughs> so they decide cool. she's going to go by herself. He's my dad. I'm going to Great storytelling. Yeah. So <laughs> she gets on her horse. And she... <laughs> Walks all the way to the castle to go see the king. Minoma. More of a trot. She, a trot. she was in no hurry. No. no. <laughs> she is. It's a saunter. I can't Bibbidi boo bee tamby wamby namby pamby <laughs> Hannah Mamma Jamba. And he goes, oh, How dare you! Come at me in our native tongue. Come at me. <laughs> Put that knife down. How dare you throw hands in our <laughs> castle? You come at the king. You best not use his native tongue. He goes back to William, and they decide, oh, okay, fine. We'll go talk to him, him together because he's an actor. Obviously, he's got some charisma or something. So he's going to be able to talk that into it. So they go back to the castle. Are you drunk? I seem like it. King Minona's not happy. And he pulls out a sword, and he swings it and chops off the head of William Teller. Good swing. Thanks. Is that really just me? <laughs> William Teller. And his head was rolling nope. across the floor. And oh, God, Infamil, Infelba, Infamil yeah. is watching. Infamil is so upset. And I don't know what happens from here. She, like, runs out. And some people say... Yeah! <laughs> some people say she became a mermaid. Some yeah! Some say that she just... Uh, state a princess? I don't know. The, she, oh, she was a mermaid and she drowned in tears in the sea. I personally believe that she I is half, half, believe. half princess and just super sad, you know, and she likes to go swimming. She likes to go swimming. That's the end. <laughs> That's wait, wait. Cold. Was that that she's half princess and half super sad? Is that she's was just that super the end? Sad. <laughs> half a princess, half swim. centaur, all super sad. Yes, there it is. Sad. There it is. I like love that Rini is now it's from like Clueless or something. It was like, hi, yeah. I'm like Rini or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys oh my god. I'm like yeah, Rini or whatever. Really. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, that was amazing. Good. Oh, a lot wow, of things were preserved. So yeah, the clip plot most too of bad. all. It the gibberish was was preserved. Mm. First of all, it was elvish. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yes, sure. yes the elvish she was not, was not elven preserved. by the time we even got to the final story. She Whatever, was not nerd. an elvin princess. No, Travis <laughs> she sunk elvin. She's just a chick. Yeah, yeah. Travis yeah. sunk the elven. Turned. What was it? Do you say a bunch of words with L's? I like the lyle, the ethanol, the fentanyl. It wasn't that bad. It was Elenathriel. It was Elenath. Real. And, and we just said the same. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Lunesta. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we all are big fans of the, the cholesterol. Yeah. We're all well, big fans of the Mananola Lorian. Yeah, um, I love the yeah. Mananola Lorian. <laughs> Mika, your story was so elegant and refined and, and really beautiful. Was. And fast. I'm, we're so sorry. <laughs> Thank you we for did bringing what it we to our best. gutter. Yeah. So, to I'm, I'm really everything. impressed that it actually, st- I, I kind of wish I made it meaner. It was it was way too composed. Nah. I, uh, I feel like I failed. It was pretty mean. Uh, uh, I feel like I did live up to my expectations. If, if, you, if you make it too mean, it, it doesn't have time to just like gspingly like crawl three spaces. <laughs> crawl across the finish line. Like it, <laughs> it just kind of wants that. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Kill it too quick. It's true. Yeah. Have to spread the pain. Oh man. Oh, well, let's uh, let's see where it all started. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. god. Let's do the yes. real names. I'm take it. it back. Take it back. Oh, Whoa. I forgot that we lovely. lost. So what is that? Like gold leaf? That's crazy. It's little. Yeah. It's, it's so glitter. It's can you guys glitter? Play I got it at an anime it. convention. Can you play it at, at 1.5 speed? Just Listen, to see. I had to talk fast. <laughs> Max said two minutes. I tried to get it into two minutes. <laughs> you got it. You did. You got it. You did it. So this is a story I was saving oh. to tell Mr. Oh, yeah. because wow. I know it was but yeah, I think you all might like it too. All the elves in Ithador know this one. So. Okay, here we go. There was once a beautiful elven princess named Elenathriel that lived in Arvandia. Uh, Elenathriel. Favorite. And she, on a rare outing away from her kingdom, fell for a human sailor named William Tanner. The seafaring man was struck by her beauty the moment he saw her and offered her a beautiful conch shell in exchange for just a moment oh, of her time. That's right, conch After shell. spending all afternoon with her newfound I love, she turned shell. to her father, King Malindor, excited to share her happiness. Malindor. I met someone, father, she exclaimed. Alhonda Brath Ultath Shantar and Tath Balala Ohala Brath. The king raised an eyebrow at her in disgust. I mean, I heard chicken broth. She just met in their this native tongue, no less. Disney task. Think I would have. Yeah. This is making me miss Disneyland. <laughs> it's it's so it perfect. It because the man was a human and she an elf. It's amazing. I the love king it. wouldn't dare allow his daughter and Etriel to be betrothed to a lowly Theranos. She was worthy of nobility and nobility alone. Theranos? So heartbroken, she ran from the castle Never and navigator. And rode for the beach again. <laughs> William was not expecting to see his love so soon and rushed to her in concern. When she told him what happened, he immediately rode Ellen Athriel back to the kingdom, not wanting to be the cause of the king's contempt. Malindor at first thanked William for being so responsible as to bring back his wayward daughter, only to have the Crown's Guard I'm getting immediately angry seize and Mika. execute William on the spot. He Crimson hates Al. spray He's showering never been a fan all over the throne room. <laughs> Don't trust Do me, does my Do not dare defy me again, Asum. You will learn your place. The king turned from his sobbing daughter. <laughs> my cats will not be eaten. Not <laughs> 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 the story yeah. Some say Ellen Athriel threw herself to the ocean to always be with William's wandering soul. Yep. And some say she forgot sailor. her dear sailor that entirely makes sense. and went on to marry an elven prince, doing what her father bid. And poor but my favorite more. ending is the one where she ends up ruling the kingdom after her father fell mysteriously to some poison tea when he least expected it. Two! Two! And it became a center. Two! Nico, <laughs> what was that roar in the last three oh, seconds? They were trimming trees at my neighbor's house, so I was <laughs> speed reading in between them trimming trees. Oh, and they just started just at the end. Like the first the chainsaw end. you heard? <laughs> 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 if you wanted to know the phrase, I forgot it specifically, but it's something as we are as close as the trees are to water, or some elven bullshit oh like my that. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, beautiful. Oh, you guys did such a good job. Thank you for making an actor. Your story, your story was okay. It was a little light on the centaurs and a little light on the elves. You're right. You're right. Next time, I'll have. Centaurs, I'll have Alf. I'll have Mando. I, I was gonna come into this and hear countless stories about Alf, and it just went away. <laughs> How do you forget Alf? <laughs> Nobody knows Alf. I uh, except, except I Allison. Tell us one one Tell us live us action series, two animated series. How the fuck do you forget that? Whoa. Including fairy <laughs> classic fairy tales horrible. made by Elf called Elf Tales. It was not. It was That's so the thing. Terrifying. Fairy tales made by Elf. Oh, they're so good. I had all they the McDonald's so good. toys. They did a run of McDonald's toys, and I think we still have them. Alf wow. is my sleep paralysis Ooh. demon. Y'all are crazy. That makes sense. <laughs> yes. I see him at the foot of my bed. Oh, <laughs> never no. been a fan. Uh, <laughs> do, uh, do you know his real name? Do you know Alf's real name? No. Do you know? Oh Wait, God. it's Alf. Gordon. Alien, alien oh, life form? Gordon. Alf's real name, his alien oh. name is Gordon. Oh. I kid oh. you not. Yep. Oh. yep. Gordon yeah. Shumway. You guys need to roll. We gotta oh, roll up shit. for those oh, who haven't gone. Oh, shit. 
Hold on, I gotta I go get, get a dice. I gotta go get a dice. Yep. Boom. Use an app. Help Laura act I'm like using an app. One within arm's reach. Anyone I'll wait. I'll my see. dice rolling app isn't here. What is, is it? Go to... Who goes highest? Is that no, what we've always done? Yeah, we've always done whoever rolls highest. Okay, who goes highest? Okay. <clears throat> I really resonated with the story of the actor Ooh. being shit upon. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Happened. I felt close to home. No, I was like, oh. Centuries of actors being yeah. treated like whores and vagrants. And yeah. that really is in our yeah. bones, You can't date yeah. him because he's kind a fucking actor. I was like, oh. Well, oh. I was going to say, <laughs> centuries of whores yeah. being treated like actors. I feel actors. like I've heard that in my <laughs> life true. before. Right? I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that happened. No, that was deep yep. projecting. Well, I okay. Already, I already rolled. Let's uh, go. <laughs> go. Oh, Ooh. two. It was oh, almost no. good. Are we supposed to, the highest goes first? Highest, highest, goes. highest goes. Three sure. for me. Say it, Liam. 19. Oh, no. 16 here. Natural one. <gasps> wow. Liam. Where's Ashley? Liam. Liam. Wait, Ashley. Where's Ashley? Oh, yeah. oh, oh she, she's oh my God, she left. She, 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 she turned so into a shy. centaur. She's just like, oh, no, 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 fucking no, I'm people. done. <laughs> Did we not even notice she was no, going? How, how, long how long has she been gone? Oh, like 10 God. minutes? 20 minutes? Nobody tell her. Is there an emergency? Nobody, nobody, oh, oh, nobody, nobody tell her. I thought it might have been a still frame. Ashley, oh, we you are. Ashley, we, we wrapped the show a long time ago. We already, we already cut. Yeah, we already cut. No, no, no. Don't well. listen to him. Roll off. Roll off. <laughs> roll a, Ashley, roll a 20, please. You have to roll it at 20. Jeez, I'm like all out of breath. This is hot. Where did you go? We have... Your laundry? <laughs> you did, yeah. right outside to we the car. Have, we have like an area where we're put. I don't even, this is a stupid story. It's not exciting. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. Was I first? You're last. Or did you all roll? Five. 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 Okay. Oh, you're fine. Right. It's Liam. It's Liam. Liam's it's Liam. next. Cheers, It Cheers. was literally Ooh. one, two, three. Oh, oh puppy. Oh, oh, hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Oh, look at the fluffy boy. Gosh, his oh, head is mm, so big. Yeah, he's big. so big. I want to ride him into battle. His right? head is he's bigger than my whole dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. He's huge. Wait, he's Travis, huge. did you just fart on your wife? I burped. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's descending into chaos. It smells like Fritos corn chips. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you have Fritos? No. Nope. Oh! <laughs> How long have they been oh, sitting in there waiting? That's a true, a true mixologist right there. Oh, no. Okay, let's call this before it gets worse. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. Thank, Thank you, you Mika. Thank you, Mika. Thank you, Mika. Destroyed. Sorry we shat on it. No, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful shit. Ha 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 ha!